there's a bunch of things that stop me from making videos and I wanted to do a video about those things so I can talk myself through getting over these humps and then hopefully help you get over these humps yourself. One of the things that is very common for new YouTubers or just anybody get into the content creation whole business from the get-go, like I have nothing to talk about, nobody wants to hear what I have to say, what I'm talking about is boring, and the, I'm, I'm, I'm actually already gotten over this one, and I just put out content, I enjoy the process of making content, and I would love it if people would watch, but I don't make the content solely for people to watch, it's just because I enjoy it as a hobby, and I just want to improve my my skills and, and learn new things. So, so that's the reason that I do it. The other thing I wanted to say about that subject is you're not boring. I'm not boring. Some people may think I'm boring. Some people may think you're boring, but you're not going to be boring to everyone. I watched a lady drone on for almost an hour yesterday about this camera that I'm recording on. And because I just wanted to get her take on using the camera, it was a lot of like, filler space, a lot of just like big yakety yak yak yak. But you know what? I watched it because I wanted to get like real time reactions and just her take on walking around the house with this camera. What I'm saying is that, you know, one man's trash is, is another man's treasure. Same thing with video and content is it may be boring and just too much for one person and it may be just right for someone else. So go out there and make your video. The second thing that I think trip people up is not having the equipment, not having the right camera, the right lighting, the right microphone, the right background. I struggle with this still, still to this day, even though I've been making content for gosh, probably almost three years. I have not been making that content on YouTube for three years, but in general, I've been making content for about three years. And the thing that I wanted to say about this is use what you have until the opportunity presents for you to get something better and, and to move on to something more advanced. So I did start out recording my videos until yesterday. So I recorded my videos for three years with my iPhone 12 Pro. I just used what I had and I made it work and it worked pretty darn well for me to be able to get started as a new creator. The other thing that I do try to take advantage of is the sunlight, the light in the room, just, you know, lighting to me, I feel is very hard to get. The other thing that I think is also hard for me to get just nailed and dialed in is sound. I, I'm hard of hearing, I wear hearing aids and sound has, has always been kind of my nemesis. I don't really know how it's supposed to sound. I don't know how to make it sound good. I don't know if my volume's too high, too low, so I'm still working on the sound. Ba background wise, I just bought a thing, like a green screen to go on the back of my chair because I, do, I have nowhere in my house that I like filming that has a closed door. I have basically this room, which is my master bedroom, and my man cave, my husband's man cave, which has so much stuff all over the walls. It's very dark in there. It's it's not quiet because he's watching TV in there. So, you know, like I've had to make do with what I had, but I figured maybe I'm gonna try it green screen. It gets delivered on Monday. I'm gonna put that as my background because I hate the yellow paint in this room. Basically, I have this room to record in, which is my master bedroom. Uh, normally, I sit at my desk right there, which has a large TV behind it. You know, I. I I just don't like it, but I want to make more videos. So that might be something that you struggle with and there's solutions for that. I'm gonna actually put links to the things that I'm talking about down below and, and the equipment that I use so you can go and check those out. The next thing I wanted to talk about is feeling like you don't have time. I always feel like I just don't have time to sit here and film an hour long YouTube video. Nobody says that it has to be an hour long. It, you can make a video for three minutes five minutes, 12 minutes, 20 minutes. I usually don't set a time. I, I mean, I'm trying to shoot for under 20 minutes because I think I need to get better at retention and, and keeping people longer before I can go into a longer video. So that's kind of my goals, but I don't like really adhere to it. Like I'm, I'm not super strict about it is what I mean. But what I've been thinking about with this camera is taking it more on the road and using it like it's intended. It's a, it's a Sony ZV-E10, which is a vlogging camera. I'm you know, thinking about just taking it outside and kind of just being more mobile with it rather than being like, 
okay, I'm sitting here and I'm recording a YouTube video from beginning to end today. So I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about like, well, what do I do about my, you know, my outfits? Uh, do I just wear the same outfit every time I record? Um, maybe that's an option. Maybe I just always have this shirt available and, or maybe get multiple shirts and have the same color available so that when the mood strikes, when the lighting's right, when I'm just in the right frame of mind to record, that I just pick up the camera and record it and, and get that done. It's, a lot of times I like to talk about the meat and the potatoes of the videos. And, and I really am like not in the mood to do the intro and the ending and you know some of the stuff in the middle where I'm like, you know, subscribe to my channel. Like sometimes I'm just not in the mood for those. I just want to talk about the meat and potatoes and then maybe another day do the intro, the ending and, and whatever other filler, B-rolls, things that I need to do for my channel. So that's what I've been thinking about is just kind of breaking it up and making sure that I have a list of the shots that I want to you know, make and the points that I want to make and just kind of fit them in with my life as I can fit them in. And then lastly, what I think trips up a lot of new content creators is not knowing how to edit. And this one I'm going to tell you is going to be probably the most painful thing that you go through. At least it was for me. I used to hate editing videos. I found it excruciating. It was so painful. It was awful, but I did find that the more that I created content, the better I was able to deliver on on what I was saying without messing up so many times, so I didn't need to edit so many times. I also got faster at editing. I used CapCut Pro on my my MacBook. So what I do is I normally I would use my my, I, my phone and I would transfer it to my Mac. Now I'm going to have to do the kind of the same process, transferring it from this camera to my Mac and then editing it on CapCut Pro there. And just, you know, I just watch videos from other people do, doing, you know, editing techniques. Um, I just practice more. The more I practice, the better at, at, at it and the faster I get at it. So it's not as painful as it used to be. So I hope that discussing these pain points help you, you know, kind of work through the pain points that you have in wanting to become a creator. You don't have to be perfect from day one. You can just build on it and just get better over time. You can also go back and edit some of the stuff in your videos. Like you can edit your video and add a different thumbnail or edit it and add a different description or a different title, something like that. Um, you just keep going and you keep moving and you, and you keep you keep creating. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope that you catch the next one. All right, bye.